Welcome to the Handy Hudsonite. Have you booked your holiday travel? Maybe it's not even for the holidays. Maybe it's business travel. Maybe it's just a vacation that you want to take. How do you find the best tickets at the best price to go on your trip? Okay, we're going to look at a tool put out by Google, and it's a tool that I use often. It's a great way to find flights from a number of different carriers without having to go through a number of different websites to find it. So just flightsgoogle.com, flights.google.com. Come here, and the interface is very, as Google does with many of their products, it's very simple very clean and so let's look at some example flights I'm here in Seattle which another aspect of Google that it already knows your location if you've allowed it to see that so you don't even have to put in your uh, the city that you're leaving from here we'll do Los Angeles just as an example I'm not planning to go there anytime soon okay and then the date you can click on this and it'll expand out into the calendar. Now this is one of the great features of Google Flights is you'll see here in the calendar you'll see the date but then below it you'll see a cost and that cost is the cost that it is right now the lowest cost that Google found to fly to Los Angeles based on these dates. Now you'll see that it has the 17th to the 21st already pre-filled in if I change this, let's say I still want to leave on the 17th, but come back on the 29th, then the price is different. It's 151. So let's do that. If you want to just go one way, there's that feature too. Click on one way there, but we'll do round trip for the sake of this tutorial. Now down here, keyword is from. So 151 is the lowest price that it found. So let's click done. Okay, and now it's going to populate out. We'll look at the dates here. This will show you more or less a, a table format, almost, almost like a pivot table in some regards to the prices of the flights. So if you want to look at it in, in a more analytical way rather than looking at it on just a regular template-based calendar. And it has these red numbers here which indicate I assume there's in, they're indicating high traffic times of when people are going to fly. So you have um, the different choices here. I think we'll stick with what we chose before. And uh, you have your departure. Yeah, up here you say green is cheaper, red is more expensive. So down over here, if I had flexible dates, I would choose to fly out on the 14th instead of on the than the 17th, but for the sake of this, let's just say I can only fly out on the 17th. Now if I come up here and click the price graph, this is another great way to see a drill down on these prices based on dates. So you can see how it spikes here. No surprise, this is right around Christmas time, <clears throat> one of the days that is high travel for that. But if I'm flexible on my travel for the holidays, I could fly out even on the 24th, see how the price drops down to 201 based on a 12-day trip, as it says. And so this is just a, a really powerful way to find, uh, to find a flight. And here, now we've all seen uh, options for different airports, but this one is really cool because it integrates with Google Maps so that you can see very quickly how much nearby airports would would be if you wanted to fly in. And LA has several airports, so this this is a great feature for this particular trip. Is you can fly into um, Burbank for 318. That's pretty expensive. LAX 185. Now look at here, McCarran International for 125. So if I'm not too concerned about the distance of the airport from my destination, ultimate destination. I can choose that and I can continue to scroll down. It uh, looks like uh, San Diego, if I'm going a little further south from somewhere in between San Diego and LA, that could be a good option. 
So it looks like uh, maybe I'll change my mind and, and click on McCarran. Okay, then here, this last box, are tips. So if you need some more information about the LA area, Las Vegas even, they threw it in, and uh, just so if you needed some more info on that. Okay, well, let's close that out and look up here. Do you want to take bags with you? Because now various airlines are charging even to put your bags in the overhead bin. Unfortunately, back when I was young, you got to fly with two bags free all the time. There was no questions. There were no extra costs. But unfortunately, we don't live in that time anymore. So you can select here to include carry-ons. Okay, so overhead bin, I want to guarantee that I have that access stops. Now, I prefer non-stop. You might be open to more than one stop. So this will filter out all the one, two stops along the way. Do I have a specific airline that that I want to fly on? Or I can uncheck airlines that I don't like, whether it be American or whatever airline you don't want to see in the list. And you can uncheck that and you won't see you then you can just drill down on very specific airlines I'll leave that on for now price what's your budget scale this down and we can keep this thing let's say under 300 so it's only going to show me flights that are under $300 times departure okay I don't want to leave too early I'll say 10 a.m. but I don't want to leave too late either I'll say between 10 and 3 is when I want to leave. and um, Or you could have it based on arrival time. I'll just do it based on the departure. And then for your return flight, when, you, when I depart LA, I don't really want to leave before 10. So I'll just use that. You can see everything updates in real time for me. And I guess I got pretty specific here because it's only showing me one flight, but that's fine because I was very clear on what I wanted. Connecting airports, this is just another feature if you had a, a layover, which I don't. I have a non-stop flight. And even more detail, like how long are you willing to fly? And this is great for international flights, choosing I don't want to be in the air for 24 hours. And so that uh, is a great feature. Um, and then you can hide separate tickets or show the separate tickets. It's good to know when you have to buy separate tickets, so I'll leave that on. Okay, so here's the best departing flight. Actually, the only departing flight. Um, and another great feature with this is, so you don't have to keep checking this, coming back and checking every day, is it has this track prices. And this will be emailed directly to your Gmail account. Now, if you don't have a Gmail account, Google Flights may uh, not be the best option for you. Though you could create a, a Gmail account just for the sake of using this, because a Gmail account is free, it's simple to set up, and you can have it forward to, to your Yahoo account, whatever account you use. I turn that on. Now I'm going to get notifications anytime the price changes. So, great feature. I'll turn that off because I'm not really going there. Okay, so I guess it, at the top it listed the best departing price, best departing flight, I should say, which is the only one. So I'll click on that. Oh, I should say, I'll, I'll go back. Um, it gives other departing flights, but it does list the, uh, the, the least expensive one. I may look and be like, well, I'd rather fly Delta or noon is going to work out better for me than leaving at 2 p.m. I don't want to get in quite that late. Okay, so I'm willing to pay, am I willing to pay $40 more? Okay, sure. So I'll click the Delta one. Okay, now Google has determined the best returning flights, and I have three options now. So do I want to leave at 1.15 and get in at 4, or leave at 5, or leave at 8? I don't want to get in that late. I do like Delta. I want to stay on Delta. Let me come down here and see what other options I have. 10, 30, uh, that might work, but I'm not too concerned about getting back that early. Uh, 3 o'clock, maybe a tad too late. So let's go with the 115 here. So now I have my trip summary 
shows me the total price. Now, uh, again, I don't have this tracking prices on. If I had turned that on, that would show that we'd be on right now. Okay, now, this is a great thing with Google Flights, is it will show you some differences here. Now, with Delta, which is a little strange, but <clears throat> just again, their way of trying to make some extra money, if you want basic economy, you can't choose your seat, you can't t change your ticket, no upgrades, um, they do give you overhead bin access, so if those are okay with you, then that's great. But if you want to be able to choose your seat, you choose the economy. So I'm going to choose the economy, pay a little bit more. That is something that a lot of search engines don't readily show to you. And you may not even know until you get to the Delta site or, or to uh, the end of your process. Okay, so it shows me the, the summary here shows the travel time, the amenities. Okay, great. Um, even shows my bag in info and how much it's gonna cost me to check that, that bag or two on, what's included. Okay, so just a very easy, intuitive, simple process, interview process, if you will, for discovering your ticket. So let's say you're ready to, to purchase this. I'll click select. And it's going to take me to Delta's website. Now, if you had tickets from two different carriers, let's say you had a Delta flight out of Seattle and an Alaska flight back to Seattle from L.A., then you would need to go to each site separately. And that's where Google Flights does get a little bit more tricky because it, it is a powerful way to discover flights. It's not a fulfillment place to buy your flights like, let's say, Travelocity would be or Orbitz, where they can give you packages. But at least it gives you that, those first steps of discovering what the best options are. And this is very easy to do on your mobile device, I should say, um, especially on, on the desktop. But on your phone, on the go, it's they've got a great interface there. Okay, so... Here we are in Delta, and again, no surprises because uh, Google showed me how I, the difference between the basic economy and the economy. So come here, and I'm ready to purchase my ticket. So I hope that helps you to learn this powerful, simple tool that Google's put out for discovering ways to get good airfare wherever you're headed. And it's and it doesn't have to be an all-inclusive solution, but it's one that I use first all the time. And I may choose something else, Hopper, Travelocity, just for comparison's sake. But really, nothing that different shows up on those. The only difference being that you can fulfill and actually purchase your tickets through those those platforms. So again, a Hope this has been helpful for you. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, be handy and get the job done.